YouTube. The Geeky Minecrafter here, and as you can see in the background, I have somewhat finished my XP farm, and so I'm really pretty pleased with it. Um, I have just gone in and repaired all my tools, upgraded them, done a, mu a bunch of enchantments, and I still have 48 levels left. So definitely spend the time to build an XP farm if you have a moment uh, and you have the resources to do it. It will pay off dividends. Now I have done a few things at the mine which I'm going to take you over and show, but I also wanted to show you what I've done out my back door here. Uh, basically, I am building a bridge that I will be able to walk across and get to the XP farm. Now it's not finished, obviously. Uh, let me show you some of what I'm doing here. I've got a little bit of redstone, I've got a couple of double doors, and what I'm wanting to do is finish this out all the way across. So we'll come back and do that in just a few minutes. I'll show you scaffolding and build, uh, bridge building. But let me go show you the improvements that I've made to the XP farm. Now I've, I've wired up some lighting so that I can theoretically turn the farm off if I need to make adjustments or I don't want it running for whatever reason. Oh, okay. Um, I also have installed here, let's, let's start up there. I've installed some pistons uh, so that I can turn, you know, uh, push this out so I can stop them from dropping down. Now I'm doing this because I needed to make some adjustments down here and I knocked out some bricks and I didn't want zombies dropping in on me. But it seems that that's a pretty good little feature. So I'm going to leave that installed. Here, let's... Sorry, let's turn these little guys down. Music... Yeah, we, we don't need to hear all that. In fact, we don't need to hear a lot of this. Okay, so I'm going to show you the wiring for this. This is a piston. It's actually a sticky piston. It has a sandstone block connected to it. I have a repeater going in and some redstone across. Now underneath this block is a redstone torch, which reverses um, you know, when I, when I power this redstone line. So that first sticky piston was on this level. The new one is on this level. It also has a piece of uh, sandstone connected to it. So that when I turn that switch off, both pistons fire and block them off. In fact, let me let me just show you that. I think I'll be able to... Um, I probably ought to take a look at what pick I'm using. Yeah, that's good. I, I, d I don't want the one that's really, really efficient. Uh, because it, it can knock three or four blocks out all at once. Let me go ahead and knock these two out. Now, I don't like to leave this open because they do tend to try and burn up if I leave this open. Uh, see, that's on the same level. So, sh so you should be able to see that when we jump down here. Now, I did put myself a, a way to get to the top. Um, I suspected I had a problem up here. Uh, in fact, I'm not entirely convinced I don't. So I'm leaving this ladder here because I, I want to be able to adjust this um, because basically they were getting hung up. I, I wasn't getting as many as I thought I should be getting. So when I came up here and looked, they were hung up, so I went up one more level. Now see, they are, they are sliding right over now. Let me cover this so they don't burn up. Okay, let's head back down, show you some wiring. It's a really good view. That bridge looks pretty good too. It'll look great when it's finished. I don't know why I have trouble with ladders. Okay, so this is the switch. I'm going to show you right up there. When we turn this switch, the sticky pistons fire and the sandstone block blocks them from being able to fall down here. Now I can just come in here with pretty much anything and one hit them. Now they're actually, it, it is only taking one hit to do it, but when they're stacked up really deep like that, it takes a little while for those green balls to come out, the experience balls. Now <laughs> I have made probably 
I don't know, five or six trips over to the house with all the drops that I'm getting. I was getting quite a bit of um, uh, chain mail and, and breastplates. I'll show you that. I've got a double chest full and starting on another one. Um, now, I'm not getting them in here as fast as I think I should, and I, in doing some research, I think the reason is because I'm sitting right on top of this, only six can be within the spawnable area at any given time. So what I did, what I did because I thought it would make it more efficient, actually wound up hurting me. So what I really need to do is move the drop tunnel on the other side of that. I don't, I don't know that I'm going to do that. I may go up higher instead uh, because I've got a lot of infrastructure here, but. It works pretty good. I just leave the game running. I go AFK. I go in and make dinner and have a bite to eat, maybe watch a television program or two. Then when I come back out, they're stacked up here so deep, I go from 7 to 55 in no time. In fact, I have to, I have to eat something because it takes so much energy to hit them, even one punch, that I'm, I'm, uh, I wind up getting hungry. You know, see it falling as I, as I swing the torch. It takes all the way down to uh, <laughs> no meat sickles to get all the way through the number of zombies that stack up when I'm, you know, in the house for an hour. Okay, so I also put in, let's see, let's knock something out so you can see. I think it's right here. Okay, you see that little guy right here? There are four of them in the room, and when I turn this on, they illuminate. So the theory behind this is, I should be able to drop in here, turn that on, and they shouldn't be able to spawn. See, I've got the four lights up in there, uh, so that, you know, when I turn that switch on, it turns the spawner off. I hear the ones that have been in the tunnel up here dropping in. So I'm going to walk out of here. We're going to go finish the bridge, and then I'm going to call this episode done. Um, I haven't done the walkway yet. I, I do plan to uh, get this all sandstoned and, you know, torched up, maybe glowstone. I'm not entirely sure. Uh, let's see what we got here. I can work for a few minutes before it gets totally dark. So what I'm, what I'm wanting to do, let's see, I think I can reach this side. I can. Can I? Almost. Oh. So basically, you won't fall off in the event you, you know, hit the fence spot. But I think this looks better. Uh, and I am about the aesthetic choices. I'm, you know, <laughs> I don't know why. I just am. I should probably go in and sleep. I I think I have a creeper spawner in here somewhere. Um, I get an abnormally high number of creepers over in this area uh, when it gets dark. So I probably should go in before somebody blows up what I'm working on. Let's see. Do I have some dirt? I think I do. I like to use dirt for, oops, scaffolding here. Of course, again, my tools are so awesome now. They're enchanted, and they've got all these really cool features on them, so it, it almost doesn't matter what tool I use. Oh, that one didn't do right. Or that one. Okay, fine. Oh, somebody's coming for me. I hear them splashing. Okay, I probably am going to go through and replace all this with sandstone, too. Uh, I just think it'll look better. Now, let's see. Let's go ahead and go in and sleep. There's no reason to risk these guys... Um, spawning in on me and destroying something I've done. 
I've got beds all over the place. <laughs> okay, all done. See, did you see that creeper right out front here? See what I mean by an abnormal number? And thank God he won't uh, he won't blow up on the other side of glass. Okay, let's go finish this bridge real fast. Now I know uh, a lot of the other YouTubers out there will provide links to the downloadable part of the world, and I haven't done that. Um, I apologize. See, look, there's two more creepers right there. Uh, I should. In fact, I probably will on this video. I'll go ahead and do that for you, uh, so that if you want to, you can download this world and check things out. Uh, let's get rid of those. Oops, missed it. Is this going to be high enough? I think so. I do hear somebody splashing. I don't know who. Okay. Can I reach it? No, one more. There we go. Okay. I'm getting better at not falling down. Uh, but it's still, it's a process. Let's get right over here. And go up. I played with some friends the other night on the PlayStation 3 and I find that uh, it messes with my brain to go back and forth between the two systems. To me it seems like everything is opposite on the PS3. You know, left mouse does a certain thing. There we go. I'm sorry, uh, in, the, in the PS3 it's the left side of the controller, it's not left mouse. But it just seems opposite what it is when we're on the PC. So let's see, I think that's uh, one more side right here. Yep. Okay. You feel it getting a little bit laggy. Um, I think the reason for that is that XP farm is still running. I'm still within range, I think. Um, and I'm, I'm pulling in a lot of entities. There we go. Okay, let's uh, knock this down. Let's head back over there. Let's see. Yeah, that looks much better. It's a wide path. I can't fall off. And um, it's not half slabs. They can spawn on it. I should probably light it up a little bit more. But, you know, I think the torches that I have right now are working. So let's head back over here and see. Um, let's see. It looks like we've got, uh, oh, no entities in front of me. So I'm wrong. There are 80 that are not inside of me, you know, they're, that are invisible basically. Uh, there are two right in front of me that are rendered. That's what, uh, see the E in the upper left hand corner up there? That's how many rendered out of how many that are um, in the world at any given time. So yeah, it wasn't running. Okay, good to know. Okay, one other thing I did while I was off camera was I did go in and put hoppers underneath half slabs so that the things that they drop when they die will flow into this chest. Um, and this is a handy way for me to pick them up. I'm, originally, um, I had pistons back here, I had a button on the side, I would go around and push them, and it would push the loot towards me so I could pick it up when I got close. But um, I just found I wasn't getting everything. It was sitting back there. It was really frustrating. So I added two hoppers. Let's see if I can show you. 
the direction. Make sure I'm okay. So see the hopper in here, the area where they fall, the hopper sits right here and it feeds into that chest. So, you know, when they drop in, I I get uh, I get what I need. Forgive the obvious edit. I did want to come back in though and show you that half slab uh, and that new method for sending things out to the um, out to the chest. So I think that's it. I believe um, I believe we've done what we want to do, right? Uh, let's see. I've shown you the bridge, shown you the pistons, shown you the hopper showing you the lighting. Okay, that's it. Those are the improvements that I've made to the XP farm. Alright, so before they um, before they jump back in here, I'll go ahead and sign out. So I hope you enjoyed this. This was just a quick tour uh, and a little bit of bridge building. Um, so I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, like or subscribe down below. Let your friends know. Till the next time, happy mining. This is the Geeky Minecrafter, signing out.